So I passed. I passed. Finally passed. With the thanks, with the help of Scott. I'm so I'm so happy about this because I never thought it was going to happen. I thought I was going to be going to the test centre five times. How many times did you go? Two. Two Only day pass. Two. two days. Two day pass. Pass second time, but pass first time with Scott in Thank you very much. Sarah. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Is we're going to start your mock test, Saba. All right, so um, you know the drill. Yep. Okay, so we're going to be driving for about 35 to 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll be doing a maneuver, some kind of reversing. Mm -hmm. We will possibly be doing a controlled stop, emergency stop, as you probably know it. Yep. We've done that before. Okay, so this is everything that we've practiced so far. Okay, we'll be doing roughly 20 minutes of independent driving. We're not going to use the sat nav on this occasion. Yep. Okay, so I'll be asking you to read and follow signs. Yep. All right, if yep. that's clear and you're ready, what I'd like you to do is drive on. Yep. All right, take time, drive on when you're ready. Okay, so there's a sign here, so I don't, oh, it's uh, only for certain times, okay. Yeah. All right, um, we're outside of those times, so I'd like you to turn left, please. Yeah. Okay, so what I'd like you to do is take the second road on the right, please. It's the second road. Thank you very much. And we're going to do your show me question. So when it's safe, I'd like you to show me how you'd beat the horn very loud. Thank you very much. How's the temperature? Are you too hot or cold? No, I'm alright actually. Okay, good. Let me know if you get too hot or cold.
at the roundabout, I'd like you to take the second exit, turning right. What I'd like you to do is pull over and stop on the left, please. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to start the part of your driving test mm -hmm. for independent drive. Yeah. So in a moment, what I'd like you to do is drive on and there'll be plenty of signs for pinner. I'd like you to do your best to follow all of the signs to pin up. There's going to be quite a lot of signs, okay? Yep. If at any point you're not too sure of the direction, you can ask me, and I will try my best to give you direction if it's safe okay. to do so, okay? <laughs> all right, take your time. When you're ready, drive on and follow the signs to pin up. How do you like the silence? I don't like it. <laughs> it makes me all in exam mode. Yep. And that's exactly what it's like, yeah. It's nerve wracking. I feel like I feel more nervous with the camera as well looking.
With the cameras, you mean, or yeah, without? With the cameras. Yeah. So, how do you feel it's going to be like on the test? Is it going to be easier than with the cameras, or harder? I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be harder because you're not there. Okay. And because, like, now I've got used to doing mock tests with you. Okay. So it's like with the examiner, it's a complete stranger. Hmm. And with the pressure of, you know, making videos for YouTube like this, um, does that make the pressure harder on the test day or maybe a bit easier? I think a bit easier because many people will be watching on YouTube. Yeah, so you've got that kind of pressure like people are watching you, even yeah. though you can't see them physically. And yeah. that's what the test is like. You have that pressure, don't you? Someone watching you and analysing everything you're doing. Yeah. Okay, this next roundabout, there is no sign for pin up. Yep. So I'm going to let you know that you'll need the right lane to go straight ahead. Second exit, please.
Okay, so we're going to have our last sign for Pinna. You're doing very well reading and following the signs. There's just one more to go. And that is the end of your independent driving, okay? Thank you. So I'll give you directions from now on. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Actually, I already know the way, but anyway. Yes, I know. It's good though, isn't it? I yeah. know. Okay. So we're not allowed to turn right at this junction. Mm -hmm. However, I'd like you to take the next road on the right. So it's um, just here. I'd like you to find a convenient place to pull up on the left. Yep. And drive on when you're ready. time I'd like to pull over in a convenient place on the left. I'd like yeah, to. Okay. Lovely. Okay. And drive on when you're ready. Just follow the road ahead, please. Stop on the left, please. Uh, yeah. Don't worry too much about driveways on this occasion, just anywhere on the left will be fine. Thank you. All right, what we're going to do now is we're going to do, if it's safe, an emergency stop or what's called controlled stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll go up a little bit further and yep. um, I'll ask you just to go around this bend coming up, okay. And on that next road, if it's safe, I'll put my hand up and say stop, okay? <laughs> um, I will kind of let you know when we're about to do it because I need you just to go around that bend. So I'm just going to give you direction to go around that bend. Then I'll remind you that we're going to do the manoeuvre and wait for me to put my hand up and say stop, okay? <laughs> All right, when you're ready, drive on. What's your favourite car? No.
things. I just like to do this left here, and it's actually a left turn, so there's no road markings, but this is a junction. You can see a mile in both directions. Hmm? You can see a mile in both directions. I'll just pull up on the left here for me, please. And stop here. Then How hopefully you know? we'll have some more room. Mm -hmm. hmm? How do you know? You already know why? No, then I already know where the outcome's gonna be. I know I did. Did what? I know that I failed this mock test. What did you do then? I don't think you saw me look in the blind spot one time. No, it's nothing to do with that. It was on the roundabout. No, nothing to do with that. So I think you're tripping out. I don't think there's anything wrong. I haven't made a serious fault yet. Well, I can't tell you that till the end, but for whatever reasons you think you've messed up are uh, not true. They're not actually anything wrong at all. Okay? Because I thought I saw a serious fault on your sheet. Okay, well then, I don't know, I think you might be seeing things because what you've mentioned, you're alright with, yeah? And everything's fine. Okay, so wait for a moment, let's get them a little bit further down the road. Okay, we're going to do our controlled stop here. So, if it's safe, I'll put my hand up and say stop, and when you hear stop, I'd like you to stop. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Alright, drive on. Stop. Drive on when you're ready. Thank you. I will not ask you to do that again, so just drive as normal. I'd like to pull over and stop on the left, please, but edge up quite far, so let's go to the tree or the second tree, a bit close to that park car. Okay, thank you. What I'd like you to do next is a reverse park exercise. With the van? So that small vehicle, the small van, yeah. Okay, sort of the same okay. size as a car. All right, so what I'd like you to do in a moment is move off, stop parallel to the vehicle in front, mm -hmm. and then reverse park within two car lengths and finish a reasonable distance from the curb. Right. Okay. Yeah. When you're ready.
Okay, thank you very much. Yep. Drive on when you're ready, and at the roundabout, take the third exit, turning right. Okay. Sorry about taking so long doing that. It's okay, you've been allowed three to four minutes, roughly. Was that three to four minutes? Uh, yeah, well within that time, yeah. Exit, yeah? Correct, turning right. Mm At the end of the road, I'd like you to turn left. Yesterday, and you had that guy walking in the road and the oncoming car. Dealt with that nicely. I remember that yesterday. Mm. It's a bit of an unlucky route. Which one? The one we just went on. Today, this one? I think it's a tiny bit hard. Plenty of roundabouts. Yeah. Narrow roads like this one. Yeah. And after this, we've got crossroads and double roundabouts, yeah? Us two won't fit, so. It's a lot of traffic here for some reason. Ah, oh, it's the bus. He stopped at the bus stop.
Oh yeah, and the roadworks, that might cause the traffic a little bit. Okay, so ahead of us we have a crossroads. At the crossroads I'd like you to turn right. Yeah. Shortly after you'll have two roundabouts quite close to each other. At the first roundabout I'd like you to go straight. Then left. And the second roundabout turn left, yeah. It's more nerve-wracking than I thought. Uh, we haven't done your tell-me questions, so would you be able to tell me how would you check to see that your brake lights are working? Um, so you'd turn the ignition on. Yeah. Um, you'd put your foot on the brake, and um, you'd get someone tell somebody to go outside and check if the brake lights are working. Lovely, very and, nice answer. Um, also, if you if you don't have anyone with you, you can check for reflections in windows, other car okay. windows. Cool. Thank you very much. Oh crap. I just got myself with the pen. <laughs> this one's all right. Yeah, oh I shall. It's a bit annoying. The guy's close to me, it's too uncom it's uncomfortable. The van driver behind you. Yeah, he's very close to me. Mm, it's probably about the same distance as a normal vehicle, like a car, as an example. Um, the fans have a flat face, like a bus or a lorry, so they can sort of... It seems a bit more forward than another car, so my distance yeah. from this one to the one in front. Good. What's the correct distance that you need to be from the vehicle in front? Is it like two, is it like two chevrons or something? Yeah, that'd be if you're driving on the motorway. Um, yeah. A normal traffic or queue like this, tyres and tarmac. Oh, yeah, so you yeah. can see the tyres of the vehicle in front mm -hmm. and the tarmac that they're resting on. Yeah. Can we feel a bit close? Yeah, mm. it's not too bad. Any closer, I wouldn't have been able to see that. Mm hmm. The route that we just did is that common one. Yes, yeah. That's the um, following the signs to pinner. We've been doing that one a lot, um, yeah. but we've been using sat nav instead. Mm -hmm. Oh, this traffic's not good. I cut the roundabout, like you saw, didn't you? It's our doxy. I didn't steer to the left, like yesterday. Very good. Well, then my parallel park. Yeah, I realise it. Oh, lovely temporary traffic lights. Beautiful. Very long. Extremely long. I don't think long. they'll take me this way then, because I... Those temporary traffic lights, they don't want to be seeing the car for long. You never know. Mm. Well, we definitely will end up this way from that way if we get my bestie tomorrow. Not name any names. It's very likely you'll come back this way because the test center's just here, so mm -hmm. there's many roads that join this junction. And then you just go through the roundabouts back to the test centre. I think with that roundabout, it's a bit hard because if you've got too many cars on this side, you might as well go the wrong way. Because you have to go from the right. Otherwise, because there's sometimes cars parked near the petrol station. So it's like... Yeah, it's quite normal for there to be parked vehicles by the petrol station. Um, you seem to know what you need to do in order to complete the double roundabouts in the safest way. Yeah, because you just mentioned about the lanes, didn't you? Yeah, I went the wrong way yesterday, but... It was the right thing to do. It's a safe thing to do. Okay, 
Okay, so you remember the directions? Yeah. Go right here. Mm -hmm. And then straight and left. But then I might have to go the wrong way if I can't move back into the left lane quick enough. Okay. Hope it's not safe to do it. He's stuck here for, for ages. Mm. I think it'll be our turn next. Soon. It's a four way stop. I don't know if I want to go through the results on camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can turn them off if you want. Unless it's actually good news. <laughs> Condition area. If, if, if it's good news, yeah, tell, tell me on camera. If it's not, then please. Because I don't want my family seeing the bad news. They're all going to be watching this, you know. If it goes out. I saw the mock test with the with that lady on your channel. Which lady? <laughs> so I don't know many. if I can mention names on here. Well, if they're on the YouTube channel, I don't see one not. Mm-hmm. Um, with Malvina. Mm-hmm. And she made quite a few mistakes, but then passed. Yeah. Did she pass the next day? Same day. It was the same day? Mm-hmm. She did what you're doing now, and then she had a, we had a short break, and she had a test straight away afterwards. She said the mock test was harder than the real test. Is it? She felt more pressure. So when she went into the real test, she was actually more at ease. <laughs> Did she get a man or a woman? I can't remember. So this bit's a 20, but down there was a 30. It's 20 from the sign, yes. Yeah. Okay, the, the, take the next road. Take the next road on the right, please. Road on the left, please. to pull over and stop on the left just by the lamp post. Okay. Yeah, just before it would be good. Thank you. Alright, switch the engine off please. But that bit I know I didn't feel Okay, so tell me more about your parallel parking. Um, well, when I had physician, I got a bit too close to the curb, so I put the car back into drive, and then I 
reversed again and did it. It took a bit longer than I thought, but got there in the end and then hit the curb, so that was good time, good thing this time. Okay, so you didn't hit the curb. You saw you were hit, getting close to the curb, right? Yeah. Okay, you love curbs, don't you? <laughs> getting better with the curbs, though. Okay, anything else before we go over the results? Nothing else. Okay, so what I'd like to say is congratulations. You have passed your mock driving test. Mm -hmm. There's a few marks to go over. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to yeah. go over the marks with you? Okay, all right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five driver faults. Yeah. Um, I did try to put these in order. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. I wrote the wrong number there. Okay. All right, so in order, the first driver fault. Do you remember the roadworks? Yes, I do. All right. There was a sign at the roadworks where the traffic light sign is, or where the traffic light is, there's a sign. I don't know if I was paying attention to that. Obviously not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know why? Why? Because it says, wait here. And you mm -hmm. drove right past it. Oh, did I? Yeah. So if you see a sign, a big red sign, just before a temporary traffic light that says, wait here. I wait here sign? Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Now, you didn't obstruct the oncoming traffic. You didn't cause anyone to slow, stop, or swerve. You didn't mm -hmm. cause a danger. However, that sign's there for a reason, right? That's why it's True. there. And it says, wait here. So next time you come to a temporary light, make sure you look for that sign. Oh. And stop just before the sign. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, moving on. Next driver fault. We have... Uh, mirror checks for change of direction. So you remember the Morrisons roundabout. Now you know your area, you know these roads, you know yeah. the roundabout I'm talking about. Yeah. We're going straight towards Pinner, mm -hmm. which is the second exit. That roundabout is what's called unorthodox. That means that the left lane is left only. Mm -hmm. Did you know that that roundabout in that direction, the left lane is left only? Yes. You did. Mm -hmm. So what lane do you want to use to go straight? Right. Why were you in the middle of the road when you were approaching the roundabout? Why don't you just stay on the right lane if you know it's the right lane to go straight? I didn't realise I did that. Okay. That's fine. It's not a problem. So you can use the bloody... You, you know can... it's roundabout I was scared of though. Yeah. You know the one with the ramp? The ramp? The one where it's like there's some roadworks going on. And I had to go over this yellow like ramp, and there was there was like a range road. Oh between. yes, yes, yes. That's the one before. That's it's the a one pass, before. everybody. It's a pass. By the way, we're just going over the results. Um, yeah. Well, tell me more about that one before I start nagging you again about the Morrison's roundabout. Okay, so I feel like because I had to get over the the, the like bump thing. Yeah. To see the traffic on the right. Y yes. I had to accelerate, but the thing is, I had to like quickly brake as well. Okay. Because if I accelerated, because of the power of the acceleration, sorry, um, my foot is. Yeah, crazy. it was quite a hard acceleration, wasn't it? it was yeah. Very hard. All right, so it seems like you're a bit scared of the traffic coming from the right, mm -hmm. so that when you do go, you hammer the gas and you fly off like a rocket. That's okay, you can do that. It's not the sort of safest or. Um, smoothest way of driving but mm -hmm. that's fine there wasn't a problem there well, the one that we had a driver fault was the one afterwards okay oh, so they're both unorthodox the Morrison's one uh, when you were in the middle approaching the roundabout when you were in the middle approaching the roundabout yeah uh, and you move back over to the right lane yeah what mirror do you need to check when you make the change of direction from middle to right right yeah. I look on the left. I didn't see you check any mirrors, to be honest. Oh, is it? Okay, yeah. So, just make sure that if you're making a move from right to left lane, or from middle to right lane, mm -hmm. check the mirrors, whichever way you're going, just check the mirrors, okay? Yeah. All right, so moving on, um, the driver fault number three. Everybody that's joined, this is a pass, by the way. Um, driver fault number three would be uh, pulling up on the left. So the second time I asked you to pull over and stop on the left, 
the sensors start going beep, and I put my hands there, didn't I? I was so ready. The, the angle that you were driving towards the curb, you were staring at the back mirror and you're mm -hmm. going in towards the curb. So the front tire was ready to hit that pavement. Make sure that you keep a safe distance from the curb. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, pro uh, we've got progress here, undue hesitation. So driver fault oh, number four. I said to you, I said, what are you doing? I said, it, was a, it, was a, it was a right turn just before the test centre, right? No, this was where we did our emergency stop. Oh yeah, and you said you can see from a mile away. Yeah. Why'd you stop? I don't know, because I needed to look. You did look? Well, I was overlooking them. Checking I don't know what you were doing, but you could see a mile that way, a mile that way, wh well in advance of even reaching like where the junction is, and you stopped. If there was someone behind you, and they can see, and they can see it's clear, and you stop, what's likely to happen next? Serious fault. Well, some, it's a serious fault, yeah, but someone might actually bump into you. So it wasn't done dramatically. It's not like you're slamming your foot on the brake. It's unlikely to happen. I'm not saying that would happen. Mm -hmm. I've had it happen where people have slammed on the brake. Okay, and then we've had a Range Rover smash into us from behind. No. Yep, uh, I've had it a few times. Okay, anyways, um, last driver fault, your reverse park. Yeah. Talk was, to us. Was it control? Was it control one or was it... Observation. It was observations, <laughs> right? What's going on with the observations? Tell I didn't me. look in the blind spots like for one second. What? Yes, for one second. When and I saw you turn your head. You did. You saw me start to And I was like, look. oh shit, I need to do it. Yes. So what happened is you did... Poor girl. Yeah, I feel sorry for her as well. <laughs> uh, so... <laughs> So what happened is you did a correction. You went back out, you started again. Mm -hmm. And I think because you were thinking, oh, crap, correct me if I'm wrong. This is my assumption, which is most likely going to be wrong. Um, why? <sighs> so is annoying. Is um, thingy? What? Prash? Yeah. No, it wouldn't be Prash. You'll come up with his name. All right, so anyway, so when you did your correction, you moved out, you went to start again, absolutely fine. But before you start again, like you started on the first occasion, I all round you, yeah. And do, do you remember the silver car was coming? So there was somebody there. I did. I, I, I you remember. looked and saw them then, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. So it's quite important that if we do a correction before you move, make sure you check all the way around the car. Yeah. All right. So congratulations. We have had a pass. What is going on? Someone is belling me. Right. I'm gonna have to end it there. Well done. Congratulations. You passed. Thank you, everyone, for watching.